Hey guys, it's Becky. So today Taylor couldn't make it because she's on a selfie kind of photo shoot thing with like her cat, I think. So you're gonna have me today, but no worries because I totally know what I'm doing. Okay, so you obviously clicked on this link because you really just don't know how to take a selfie. But since you suck at taking selfies and I'm such a pro, I decided that maybe I can just make this video and we could just all get along. Okay, so first you have to learn the history of a selfie to actually master the art and perform a wonderful selfie like I can. So I'm here to tell you that you're in luck because that's exactly what I'm going to do today. Okay, so the art of self photography is often called a selfie. The selfie was created in 1411 by our great and powerful leader, Iggy Azalea. And since then, pro selfie takers like myself and the soon to be you have gone to this worship ceremony every week called a selfie bration, and then we go and put our selfies and put it on a giant statue of our great and powerful leader, Mrs. Azalea. Okay, so now that you guys worked on your history, it's time to work on form. Okay, first you have to make sure you look hot, but not too hot that it looks like you tried too hot. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, hey guys, it's Becky. So the first rule of taking a selfie is like, always make sure it looks natural. Because if it doesn't look natural, then obviously you tried too hard. So let me show you how to do that with makeup. So what we're gonna use first is called concealer. Dab it underneath your eyes. I don't even need a mirror right now because I'm just so good at taking selfies and applying makeup. Like put it all over your face and then you just kind of like rub it in. Like just all over your face and it's just, once it's rubbed in, I'll know when it's rubbed in. Just trust me on this because I don't need a mirror. It's a little uneven. You can just add some more no matter what because it's always going to be your skin color. So like even if you have like three pounds of makeup on, that's okay because you still look good, right? And then I think, and then yeah, you're good. And so now what we're going to add is some bronzing powder. And I probably just blinded you with the reflection, but that's okay because you don't need to see. You just need to look good in your selfies. Put it all over your face and on your nose, put it up your nose. This just gives your face color and like avoid splotches and stuff. You gotta put some on your neck. That'll make it look even so it, your face just doesn't look like Parnoop Balupa because yeah. And the last thing we're gonna add is some regular lighter colored powder. And this is just gonna like take out some of the color from the bronzer. Then you won't look like you're like Abraham Lincoln on the penny. Then we're just gonna like put some all over. Everywhere you put bronzer, you gotta put this powder. As soon as it, if, if it gets in your mouth, that's okay because inner beauty is outer beauty. Just put some on your neck and your face is gorgeous. Okay, now that your face is beautiful, we have to add some eyeliner. I don't need I don't need a mirror, just trust me. Put some under your knees. This is just gonna like help your eyes pop because your face is already glowing. Put some on and it doesn't have to be too thick. And if it doesn't look good, and just add some more. And once you feel like it's right, it probably is right. Just trust it. That's how you do one eye. Make this part match. This is like the toughest part is getting your eyes to match. Once you're done, just make sure you get that wing to match the other side. Just keep going. And I think, just a little bit more. Yeah, that's how you do your eyes. Just not too much. If there's too much, then it doesn't look natural and we can't have that, can we? Last thing we're gonna add today is some lip gloss just to have your lips pop because your eyes are popping and your face is glowing. Add a little bit on your lips. Put it on the top because if one, if one part of your lips is more than the other, that doesn't look like you were born beautiful. And everybody knows that you are. Your face. Pretty gorgeous. You're gonna love it. Okay, now that you have your makeup done really well, we have to move on to your hair, make it look just as well. So, what we do is a top bun because the top bun does not look like you tried too hard, like you're trying to go to prom while you're taking your selfie. No, what the top bun says is, oh, I can take a picture. I mean, I'm confident with the way I look all the time. So what you do for a top bun is you kind of like, Flip, I don't know if you can see me, but like flip your hair 
a cut down, get all of your hair, grab it, and then you kind of like put something, you know, get your hair or something around it, and make, you make it into a ponytail with something like this. And, and then you like, um, you like just kind of put it up until it's like on top of your head, and it's a bun. Like, Okay, now that you look gorgeous, but natural, you have to practice your face pose. It's all in the cheek pose, all right? Think of Angelina Jolie on your face. And how you get that look is by sucking your lips in like this, and then kind of smiling. It looks, it feels really uncomfortable, but trust me, it looks really natural. Sometimes tilting your head to the left or right just defines that cheek pose. Grab your phone. Find the right light and then perfect. Okay, so I know you guys are doing wonderfully. So that's it. Thanks for watching and you go take a selfie. I'll see you guys at worship next week. Love for Idea Zalia. Always. See ya!